Hello, in this video I would like to give you an introduction how the ADL in-flight weather devices can communicate with your panel mount avionics. So for this video I am going to show you how the EX5000 and the IFD540 of a Cirrus SR20 will interact with an ADL200. But the uh, same will also work with an ADA 150 or 190. This aircraft is equipped with the EX5000 uh, and IFD device, but uh, the data connection to the ADA device is separate, so in fact it would work with either of those devices individually. So now I'm starting up the MFD and the IFD device, to make sure this presentation really shows you the whole process from the really beginning. On the left side you can see the iPad with the ADI Connect app, which is already connected to the ADI 200 device via Wi-Fi. First I'm going to show you how you can really download the weather data and show it. Later on I'm going to give you a more detailed insight regarding the configuration of all the devices in case you have to set up this on your own. So now you can see that the GPS of the IFD device um, acquired its first position, so the multifunction display is jumping to the right position at Echo Delta Alpha Zulu. I'm doing this test on the ground, but it would be the, exactly the same in flight. I switch over on the iPad and make sure that the ADA Connect Wi-Fi is also connected and then I can switch back to the ADA Connect app which starts communicating with the ADA 200 device. Now the first step is uh, to configure a route because as you might know the ADA in-flight weather system will always download the weather information along a pre-programmed route, so this information has to be given to the system before doing the actual weather download. In this setup, we are going to enter the flight plan information on the IFD device and it's connected by RS232 wire to the ADL200 device and uh, the EX5000. So you just have to enter the flight plan information once on the IFD and all the other systems will get it automatically. The flight plan I'm going to program is a rather simple direct from Echo Delta Alpha Zulu, where we currently are, to uh, Gdansk. So now you can see the flight plan parking up first on the MFD, and shortly later it's going to come to the um, ADI Connect app through the ADI 200 device. The important uh, point here is to activate the FPL in mode as I just did to enable the reading of the flight plan from the external port. So now that we have the flight plan programmed, I use the ADL Connect app to start a download. As this is an ADL 200 and we are currently on the ground, it will download the weather through the 4G connection, but uh, in flight it would, yeah, the ADL 200 would um, be in hybrid mode and switch over between the LTE or the Iridium satellite connection and the other devices, ADA 150 or 190, would use the satellite connection right away. But the final result, the weather data we get, would be the same in all cases. So the weather data is already downloaded and uh, you can see it displayed on the ADA Connect app. As you see, there's a uh, basically a little thunderstorm cell to the southeast of our current position, which is very handy for this demonstration. Now, the ADA 200 device is broadcasting this weather information to the other two devices. As you can see, it takes a moment until the data is transmitted, and then the weather data will pop up. You will also see that uh, on the IFD and the EX5000 device um, uh, the timestamp of the weather information will be displayed. This radar information is named local radar 
which is uh, basically American um, nomenclature um, on these devices. So just remember that you have to select the local radar feature to get the weather from the ADI device. Now we have a beautiful view on the exact same weather data on all three systems. And you see the thunderstorm cell to the southeast um, displayed. You will also notice that there is a slight difference in color. So the, um, the Avidine devices will not display the orange color. They can just display green, yellow, and red. And so the ADL system will default the orange color to yellow to make it display on those systems. So that's already the main process on how to get the weather information. In this example, I did a single download, but uh, if you are flying in sea weather, you can also activate the automatic download on the ADL Connect app. And in that case, you do not even need the ADL Connect app for the remainder of the flight. The weather information will just update automatically every 15 minutes in the EX5000 or and IFD devices. Now switching over to uh, an enlarged view of the IFD 540 device only. Um, you see obviously the radar picture and then in the bottom left corner you see the age of the radar data, like the regional radar, 22 minutes in that case. So um, in real life we could have downloaded new weather data already. Then, um, just to show you the required settings, I press on the weather overlay button at the bottom left corner. And then you can see that I selected the regional radar overlay and deactivated the other options because this is uh, the channel where the ADL device can transmit the radar data. Then switching over to the FMS and there on the info tab, you can select the, an airport and if you specified that airport in the ADA Connect app for the download of meta or TAF information, you will also see the latest meta and TAF in this menu. Now I'm going to show you how to properly set up the IFD540 device for the reception of the ADL200 or other ADL device weather data. So I switch over with the AUX button to the this page and then I press on the second button from the bottom until the update data button at the bottom is visible. It's not straightforward but basically what you do is you press update database and that also brings you into the general settings menu. Now there are different pages available and I can switch between them with the AUX button. I switch over to the status page and then I turn the knob until the ARIS-232 um, diagnostic is visible. In that case the ADL200 device is wired to the COM5 port and you see that the number of bytes coming in is counting up. As the ADI200 device is sending a broadcast transmission, this value should uh, count up all the time and there should be no errors. If you have any errors, um, we have seen such cases, you probably have to verify your wiring and grounding especially. Now switching over to the config page and then turning the knob until we see the main RS232 config, we can uh, see the configuration of the different RS-232 ports on the IFD540. So there are six ports overall and for the ADL device we are using the port 5 on this installation. As you can see on the input I selected capstone, high speed, traffic and weather. This is the setting you would like to use. It's uh, High speed means it's running at um, 115,200 baud and it's uh, trying to read the traffic and weather even though on this installation uh, the traffic will not show up because there's another traffic system installed. And then on the output side you will have to set aviation. This is what transmits the uh, flight plan information to the ADL device. If you run both in the current configuration you need the RDL RS-232 
baut rate converter or combiner as we call it to adapt the baut rate as the aviation output is going to run at 9600 baut. You can also use the different inputs and outputs combined from different ports, but on this installation we used COM port 5 only. Finally, when all the configuration is done and verified, switch back to the update page and then you can press the done button and the IFD 540 device will reboot into its normal state. Now we have a detailed look at the EX5000 device. So to display the ADL provided weather, you will have to select the weather overlay local radar. And then on the left side of the screen, you will see the age and minute of this data based on the timestamp transmitted. Then to verify your installation, you can switch over to the trip page. And there, if you press multiple times on the display key on the right side, as shown in the video, you can get a configuration or status screen regarding the ADA200 input and you will see um, it will report the, that the receiver is working or not and what kind of weather product it received. Currently uh, the meta and TUF uh, are not displayed on the EX5000 but only on the IFD540. We are still investigating if there might be a possibility to get it going on the EX5000 also. Then finally we switch over to the AUX page and we press the two buttons on the left side as shown in the video. This brings us into the hidden configuration menu of the X5000 device. Here we select the aircraft setup on the right side and then we can see the detailed settings. In this case, as you can see, we set up the broadcast for capstone radio. We selected the RS232 port number 4 because this is where we physically wired the ADL200 device and we selected 115,200 baud. Finally, we restart the device to save all the settings and bring it back into its normal mode of operation. Finally, a look at the ADL Connect app and the settings made in there. So we switch over to the config page and here we can see the specific settings of the ADL200 device. Please keep in mind that you will need firmware 8.71 at least to have the full support for those features. As you see, we have the RS232 GDL90 protocol enabled and we put it on the IFD colors mode. That's a mode with some optimizations for Avidine devices. Then on the RS232 baut rate selector, we select 115,200 baut. And the rest of the settings, we leave it default, or you might change those settings um, as required, but they are not related to the link to the IFD and EX5000 device. Finally, we press save and reboot, so the settings take effect, and then um, the ADL device should reboot and be ready to operate. Please remember that the ADL device will only transmit weather which was downloaded using the ADL device. So if you download any weather with the ADL Connect app over the internet link, that might show up or will show up in the ADL Connect app, but it's not weather which will be transmitted from the ADL device to the IFD and EX5000 devices. So you really have to download weather using the ADL device to test the setup. I hope this gave you a short introduction on how the ADL devices can interact with your cockpit avionics. And thanks a lot for watching and fly safe.